reinhelt, Sales Manager at our staff. Digitalized production requires high performance data transmissions and industrial ethernet is the first line solution. But how does it actually work? It depends. There are three different ways to implement industrial ethernet in hazardous areas. Using fiber optics, copper wires or radio waves to go wireless. In this video, we will talk about fiber optics. They are perfect for large installations that need to transfer large data volumes from many signals over long distances, even extreme ones up to 30 kilometers without electromagnetic interference. But even light could cause an ignition unless you do something about it. There are two ways of making optical signals safe. The first is inherently safe optical radiation, which means that the light energy is kept within safe limits, similar to intrinsic safety installations. The second is protected optical radiation, which means that the light is safely confined by the fiber cable and connectors. In order to connect your PLC or DCS to a field device in a hazardous area, you will need four things. Your automation systems Ethernet I.O. module, a media converter, your field device, for instance, an operating station possibly fitted with another media converter, and of course, a fiber optic cable to communicate on. The inherently safe method uses a special switch to turn a regular signal received via a media converter or switch into a low energy explosion proof OPIS signal. The benefits? You can use standard non-X industrial connectors and you can connect and disconnect them even when the lasers are operating. Optically protected solutions can use regular media converters, but they require specialized XOPPR components like X certified connectors and splice boxes. Splicing creates a solid connection with minimal signal loss. And as we've already said, these components are designed to safely confine optical signals. It's also possible to use specially certified XOPPR connectors. However, unlike the intrinsically safe option, this is not hot swap capable. In other words, you will need to power down all laser sources every time you are connecting or disconnecting a connector. This gives you a good overview of your options. If you'd like to find out how to get Wi-Fi into hazardous areas, check out our other video. And if you want to know what a custom solution for your plant looks like, get in touch with us. Our experts are happy to share their insights with you. Until then, all the best. Oh